Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here today. If you are new to my channel and like what you see but haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. If you do, hit that bell button so you're notified every time that I upload. Also, giving me a big thumbs up really helps me out here on YouTube. And with all of that being said, let's jump into these awesome new fall DIYs. We are going to start with this so very thankful pumpkin hanging. I think it is absolutely gorgeous, easy to make, and you can do it with a bow or without a bow. So I just have some um, cord from Hobby Lobby. It's called Bonnie Cord, but you could use jute twine from Dollar Tree as well. I just prefer to work with the Bonnie Cord because it's a little bit softer and not so rough on my fingers. So it's kind of a texture thing, but whatever you like. This pumpkin wreath form is from Dollar Tree, but if you can't find it at your Dollar Tree for $1.25, Hobby Lobby does have one. It is a couple dollars more, but right now you can get it on sale. So there's that idea as well. So I'm not going to show you wrapping this whole thing because that's just kind of self-explanatory, but I just wrapped all around and the little spines of it. Now I have this so very thankful paper placemat that comes in I think a 30 pack from Hobby Lobby for just a couple dollars. I'm going to glue the paper placemat to the backing that all the placemats came on with my Elmer's glue stick. I am then going to place my prepared wreath form right on top of that. I'm going to add some hot glue all along the edges, flip it over and place it on top best I can. There will be tiny little gaps on the side, but that is okay. Once you get everything glued down, you can't even really notice. So now I'm just going to kind of go around adding little bits of glue here and there where I need to, to make sure this whole thing is secure. Once it is secure, I am then going to take a pair of sharp scissors and I'm just going to trim around the excess of that paper and backing where I don't need it. So just kind of cut that off and that way I can get close to the wreath form and not be able to see any of that to give it a nice clean and finished look. Of course, this is just how I'm doing it. If you wanted to trace your pumpkin on top of this thankful paper and cut it out before gluing your pumpkin down, you could do that. But this worked for me and here's what it looks like. So pretty. Now decorating is totally up to you. I just got a couple of gorgeous picks that I picked up inexpensively last year. I believe these are Walmart picks, but they're around a Dollar Tree price. So I just tucked them in there and then kind of arranged them a little bit, added dabs of hot glue. I did decide to cut those leaves off, but you could totally leave them if that's what you like. Next, we're going to add in some more pine cones to fill this out. And I'm also going to add in some different leaves that I think go a little bit better with this look. These leaves are from Walmart and they are so pretty. I used them a lot last year. I absolutely love them. They have a little bit of shimmer to them. So I'm just kind of adding them in and around the bottom and the side, just kind of sparsely, but enough to give that color pop. And I think it is so pretty pretty. Now I think it is gorgeous without a bow so I wanted to show it both ways. Here's what it looks like if you want to go bowless and just do the more simplistic classy look which I think is so pretty but of course I love bows as well so I also wanted to show how this looks with a double bow using Dollar Tree ribbon. I think it is equally as gorgeous so whatever suits your style and your fancy add a bow or don't add a bow. Okay guys let's talk about today's challenge. Every month on the 1st, I get together with these ladies and we host a super fun challenge. So this month, our host is Chantel from Crafty Hints. Then it's Brenda from Resting and Lace DIY and myself. We always have so much fun hosting these challenges. So the playlist for this challenge is going to be linked below. You can get tons of inspiration. But I also want you to check out these two ladies, my great friends. They are amazing and will be linked below in the description box as well. Okay, let's jump into my next idea. Another super fun one for you using Dollar Tree items. This gorgeous, thankful, and blessed pizza pan wreath was so fun to make. So you began with a Dollar Tree pizza pan, and I apologize right now, there is going to be some glare in this 
DIY because I can't really help it with the metal, but you're also going to need one of these wreath rings from Dollar Tree and a Dollar Tree calendar. If you're lucky enough to find the 20 24 you could use that or you could use an old one like I am doing grab some ribbons These are all the new collection from Dollar Tree and I am cutting four inch pieces off of each ribbon roll I Beginning I wasn't sure how many I would need so I cut ten of each I only ended up using eight of each But it really depends on how closely together you put your pieces of ribbon So I am just going to glue one down and then form a pattern so I did the pumpkin ribbon made sure that that was glued down I dovetailed the end by folding it and cutting a triangle upward and then I am going to glue down the solid ribbon right next to it kind of scrunching if I need to to keep it straight and I'm going to dovetail that as well and then I will move on to the plaid I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around my pizza pan I do add little dabs of glue Glue where the ribbons meet too. I wanted mine to overlap a little bit, but you could overlap yours more or less than me. So how much ribbon you'll need will really depend on how you want to do it. Then you'll choose your calendar page. You'll lay your calendar page on top and figure out where you need to cut. Now full disclosure, I'm going to be totally honest in the right hand corner of mine. I cut in a little bit too far. So once my wreath is done, you can see a little bit of that ribbon on on the side but I did my best and I still think it came out gorgeous so just kind of carefully trace where you need to cut so that I glued this down with a glue stick and smoothed it out now I'm going to take that wreath ring from Dollar Tree paint it with Waverly plaster and lay it on top I glued it down to frame out my gorgeous calendar piece then I created a bow by just taking some more of those little pieces of ribbon these are about six inches long though stacking them on top of each other in a pattern and then just kind of fluffing them out I cinched them tightly in the middle with a piece of bonnie cord but of course you could use zip ties you could use a pipe cleaner you could use twine yarn whatever you fancy just make sure it is tied tightly so you can give your bow a good fluffing I did not dovetail the ends of my bow but you totally could I placed that on top of my wreath ring and arranged it so that none of the little tails there were blocking my thankful word and here's what it looks like if you look super closely you can see that I did make a little mistake in the bottom right corner cutting a little bit too far in but I still think that it is absolutely gorgeous and I just love how it came out please let me know what you think about this one down below in the comments and moving along this is a super quick one and there are so many ways to do this I have seen this done many many times but I'm going to show you the easiest way that I have found so you grab this little wreath form from Dollar Tree it's a tree shape and grab a bunch of pumpkins now this one that I'm showing you right now you can get at Walmart I believe for only a dollar and all three of these are attached and each one is a little bit bigger than the one before it so this worked perfectly so I just shoved the tiny Dollar Tree one up in there and then I shoved the little Walmart trio and then a couple more Dollar Tree ones of course if you don't have that little Walmart trio just use Dollar Tree ones I'm just showing you here how I removed the stem and then I added also this leather pumpkin is from Dollar Tree now this large pumpkin is three dollars from Dollar Tree and I removed the stem I can replace it later if I want to. Now my idea for this was that I didn't want to add any glue. I didn't want to have to cut cardboard to make a bottom. So I thought if I took this big pumpkin and shoved it in the bottom, the big pumpkin would just stand on its own with a cone kind of on top of it. And then no glue is required. This is super easy and I can take it apart and reuse my pumpkins. Of course, if you wanted to glue them in there, if you wanted to add a base, if you wanted to decorate around your base, that is totally up to you but I just wanted to keep this super simple and I love how it came out I even made a couple in different patterns as you can see okay moving along I'm going to show you how I customized this gorgeous reversible crate for just a few dollars I think it is so cute and so perfect for your kitchen so this crate comes from the Dollar Tree it is three dollars it's called a small wood crate but it is a nice size and then these two 
cute little pie signs were from Dollar Tree last year, but I believe they're carrying them this year as well. A little pumpkin pie and a little cherry pie, absolutely adorable. So what I am going to do is paint my crate in tutorial beige, but of course use whatever color that you like. Then I glued down on either side a piece of pie, but I'm not gluing the pie, I'm gluing the hanger on the inside so that if I decide I don't want the pie displayed, I can just put the pie inside the crate like I just showed and that way I'm not committing to having it outside the crate. So I did this on either side with either pie and then I did decide it needed a little bit of something so I added some plaster chalk paint to the sides and then I brushed some plaster chalk paint over the sides as well. This is totally optional. If you painted your crate white you could do this with the tutorial beige. You could reverse it whatever you like. I just think that this looked pretty kind of rustic it up a little bit for me and here's what both sides look like our pumpkin side and our cherry side. Now the pies that you see in the background I made in another video which I will link below. They were so fun and easy to make. Okay our next DIY today is the super easy gather together sign using a Dollar Tree wall sticker. I just cut it apart here so I had more control over how I placed the words. Then I have a Dollar Tree sign that was part of their nautical collection. Um, I'm just showing you that you can use the back. I did remove the raised words on the other side so that the sign didn't hang funny. And then I brushed over the back with some plaster chalk paint. I didn't do a full coverage job because I did want some of that brown to show through and then I lightly brushed over my plaster paint with some tutorial beige so we have a few different colors going on here and I think it looks really pretty now I'm going to place down my stickers and what I love about these is it is a clear sticker so you can place it down and not really see the edges especially if you use Mod Podge like I did so I'm just figuring out exactly how I want to place these and then carefully just placing them down after dropping it like I just did but placing it down and then placing the other one on top of it and making sure that they are smoothed out like I said I did use a coat of Mod Podge on top of these words to hold them down and seal them in so here is what that looks like Dollar Tree has so many different stickers that you could use for this now here's some Dollar Tree ribbons which we're going to create a cute little bow for our sign I did come back in later and add some more leaves that were on that original sticker sheet and you'll see that here in a second but to do our bow I absolutely love these ribbons Dollar Tree has been really knocking it out of the park with their ribbons I think these are so gorgeous so I'm just gonna fold the ribbon over until I have one loop on either side and one tail like so when I do that to this other ribbon then I can put them together and we will have two tails one from each ribbon print now scrunching them together again tie them with whatever you like just make sure it is nice and tight and then you can fluff up your bow I am then going to glue my bow at an angle to my sign the way that I like it it and apparently here I decided to go really slow to show you guys I guess if you need a bow tutorial here it is because for some reason this is super slow also I did dovetail the little tails of this bow by folding them over and cutting a triangle upward but that is how you can create a super cute bow with different tails I just thought that that was a cute idea now finally gluing this down at an angle like I said I just used some hot glue and then carefully arrange the tail so they're not blocking off either one of those words. Here is where I decided to come back in with a few of those leaf stickers after adding a hanger. So I did take a few beads and just add it to a piece of twine, stick that back through the original holes, then we have a hanger and we can add our leaves to this. So pro tip here, if you can't 
can't get your twine to go back through the hole, you can add a little bit of hot glue and let that harden and that will make your twine go through the hole a lot easier. So there we go. Here is our adorable little sign. Just adding in the finishing touches, which are totally optional, but I think are super cute. Sorry about that little bit of wrestling around. My dog was trying to get comfortable. She's keeping me company while I voice over. But here is what our gather together sign looks like with some of my fall decor. I think that this is so cozy and just gives me all the fall vibes and makes me want to put on a nice warm sweater and drink some hot apple cider. So I hope you like this sign idea. Okay, our last and final DIY today is another sign. Super cute. It says pies the limit and we are going to use Dollar Tree items beginning with this Dollar Tree tea towel and this Dollar Tree frame. I had painted the base last year for a different DIY and the frame is from the $3 section. Now I'm going to take a piece of cloth and I'm going to take the bathing of my frame and I'm going to glue this towel down. So I just tacked the top and the bottom then I flipped it over. Now I did that to make sure that I keep the image straight. Now I am just going to gather up the cloth glue it down and trim off the excess. You can do this way differently. There's so many different ways. You could just trace around, cut out the perfect size and glue it down. But I wanted to do this so I had a little bit more control and I could make sure that this is straight. My biggest issue with doing crafts like this is that I can never get the image straight. So this just worked really well for me. And if you're worried about the back, you can cover it up with some brown craft paper. I placed this down inside of my frame I did add some glue to keep it firmly in the frame I painted my frame but you don't have to do that I didn't like the black so I just added some brown with some real red mixed it together and then painted it that color I did decide to dry brush over it with some plaster so this is totally customizable you could do this with any of the gorgeous tea towels that Dollar Tree has but I love pie as you can tell I just think it is so cute for fall so this was perfect Perfect for me and I absolutely love this idea and I hope that you like it too. Okay, and for a brief review of all of our projects today, we have our little tree temporaries, our thankful and blessed sign, as well as our pies the limit sign, and our beautiful so very thankful wreath with and without the bow our double-sided pie crate, and our gather together sign. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate you. Please subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to give me a giant thumbs up, and I will see you guys really soon. Take care. You can subscribe to my mom's channel, and thank you for watching today's craft, and stay safe.